everyone, everyone is subject to this virus. It is the great equalizer. I don't care how smart, how rich, how powerful you think you are. Uh, I don't care how young, how old. This virus is the great equalizer. My brother Chris uh, is positive for coronavirus, found out this morning. The, uh, now, uh, he is going to be fine. He's uh, young, in good shape, uh, strong, not as strong as he thinks, but uh, he will be fine. But there's a lesson in this. He's an essential worker, member of the press, so uh, he's been out there. If you go out there, the chance that you get infected is very high. Uh, I spoke to him this morning, and uh, he's going to be quarantined uh, in his basement at home. He's just worried about his daughter and his kids, that he hopes he didn't get them infected. Uh, you don't really know Chris. You know, you see Chris. Uh, he has a show on night, uh, 9 o'clock on CNN. But you just see one dimension, right? You see a person in his job. And in his job, he's combative and he's argumentative and he's pushing people. But that's his job. That's really not who he is. He's a really sweet, beautiful guy. Uh, and uh, he's my best friend. My father was always working, so it was always just me and Chris. And uh, he's a lawyer also, Chris. He worked his way up. He's at CNN. He does a beautiful job. But a sweet guy. And now he's quarantined in the basement. But he's funny as heck. He says to me, uh, even the dogs won't come downstairs, he says. <laughs> so, uh, but he is concerned about his wife and his kids. But the reason I raise it is he's smart. He social distancing, yes. But you wind up exposing yourself. People wind up exposing you, and then they find out they're positive a couple of days later. And I had a situation with Christopher two weeks ago that I even mentioned my mother was at his house. And I said, that is a mistake. Now, my mother is in a different situation. She's, uh, she's older. Uh, and she's healthy, but I said, you can't have mom at the house. And he said, no, 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 mom is lonely. She wants to be at the house. I feel bad. She's cooped up in the apartment. I said, yeah, I feel bad. She's cooped up in the apartment too. But you bring her to your house, you expose her to a lot of things. You have the kids there. You have your wife there. You're coming and going. Your wife is coming and going. And uh, you could expose mom to the virus. And love is uh, sometimes uh, a little, uh, needs to be a little smarter than uh, just reactive. And we had a whole discussion. And truth, now he's informed, I'm informed. Uh, was that dangerous? Was that not dangerous? So I went back to Dr. Zucker and I said, look, we have to tell people, what are the rules? How does this work? That's when I came up with Matilda's Law. And I said I named it for my mother. And it was very clear about uh, people who are older and what they should be exposed to. My brother, that was two weeks ago, if my brother still had my mother at his house, again, out of love and comfort, and my mother wanted to be at the house anyway, by the way. She didn't want to be sitting at home in an apartment. Uh, so. She would have been doing what she wanted to do. He would have been doing what he wanted to do. It would have seemed great and harmless, but now we'd have a much different situation. Because if he was exposed, chances are she may very well have been exposed. And then we would be looking at a different situation than just my brother sitting in his basement for two, months, two weeks.